Welcome back to the channel and on today's video I've got a very special guest who's just finished the 66 day alcohol free program. Craig is a business owner from Australia and he's going to be sharing his own experiences of the program with us today. Craig, welcome and thanks so much for being here with us today. My pleasure. So Craig, tell us, what was your drinking like before you started the program? Well, before I started the program, um, I think drinking over my adult life has been around w work and sports and social interactions and um, it's there's quite a drinking culture um, here. So I think it's sort of, um, you know, I'd have occasions where I would have hangovers and not feel so good or get a bit run down. Um, and I found certainly in the last year, year and a half, I've really stopped drinking as much and it's really been a lot less. And um, I think that's sort of what led me to here as well, like to figure out what's it like to actually not drink at all and see how that affects my life. So there's so much about it in social media and um, podcasts and different things that you can be exposed to now. And I think I just wanted to try and see what happened. So here, Amazing. here I am. Amazing. And you've just finished the 66 alcohol free challenge, right? So can you describe the most significant changes in your health and well-being since starting the program? Sure. Well, I think sleep is a big one. Like I've noticed, I used to wake up at two in the morning and stay awake for half an hour or sometimes longer, just not being able to get back to sleep. And now I have these really refreshing sleeps and wake up feeling good. And I think a lot flows from that. So I think that's probably a really big one. And just, yeah, I think I've felt a little less worried about things in general and yeah, just a better better sense of health and well-being. Incredible. And how have you grown personally from the program? Oh, um, yeah, I think it's just brought a lot more clarity to me, like in terms of making um making better decisions i think it's really opened up and re removed a barrier to just general self-improvement across all other aspects of life so i think it sort of was the block to making progress on areas that i really wanted to get better in and now like whether it be fitness or work or relationships it's sort of everything i'm moving towards my goals a lot more um consciously and 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 faster i think so yeah and, and just general health, I think primarily for me, I just wanted to get super healthy and this was, you know, just gonna underpin that. Amazing. Now you're a business owner, right? So how has your productivity and decision-making been influenced by going alcohol-free? Well, I think I've noticed, um, well, my, yeah, as, a, as my own, having my own business, I have to drive it and, um, nothing, you know, you don't get paid unless you do the work. So um, you can't afford to procrastinate. And I think that I've I've moved more quickly in making decisions about things. Um, you know, I think my just my general thought processes around different things I'm working on have been clearer and faster. Um, you know, I feel more enjoyment in talking to my clients, which is, you know, really good and important. I think also just from a business like the thinking about my growth strategies for the future, it's really opened up things that I have moved towards much more quickly and confidently. So that's been huge for me. So yeah, that's been good. Incredible. And how have your relationships improved since going alcohol free? Have you noticed a difference in your relationships with your family, friends? Yeah, I think so. I think um, definitely with my family, I think I've, um, I think I've invested more in, in different moments in time and um, I think I'm more inclined to be a lot more present and do little uh, kind acts with them. Um, I think I've definitely found myself having more opening up to opportunities to do more with the people around me. I love that. Like it impacts on so many different areas, right? Like just being kinder to your family. That's amazing. Yeah, I think, you know, before, you know, when you're drinking, you can just be that little bit more sluggish or a little bit more lazy and less inclined to do go the extra mile for someone. And it just becomes 
easier to be selfless and you know do things so it's a good thing i love that okay so what's one strategy or tool that you've learned from the program that's helped you replace alcohol as a coping mechanism yeah one that i really remember is um that's been really helpful is to think ahead to what you're going to do um particularly i found when i was traveling into state or going away to do something fun um you know thinking ahead to where you're going to be going and what's on the menu and what you might order in advance rather than getting there and being on the spot so um yeah just thinking and having that mental list of types of things that you might go for um, yeah. and that makes it easier when you're there to enjoy it amazing yeah that's, that's a little thing but it's it's worked really well completely it just means you're not on the spot in that moment under pressure and that's when you could be quite vulnerable right Mm. How else have yeah, you, exactly. What else have you done to navigate those social situations? Did you feel any pressure to drink where you previously probably would have? Yeah, I don't think I'm in uh, the same sort of um, sort of party mode at this point in my life. But okay. um, so it's been easy in a way. But I think there's been moments where I've just felt like this little bit of boredom creep in, or this bit of uneasiness when I'm sitting maybe one-on-one -on -one at dinner or or um, in those situations where I just learned that you have to sit with that feeling for a moment and it does pass. So um, I think that was challenging in a couple of cases where I thought, oh, I'm just going to, it's going to be really boring now, but it really isn't. But you can, you still can have that feeling for a, a few minutes, but it doesn't yeah. stay. So that's something that I really found um, in a lot of um, circumstances. I love that. We've been so conditioned to think that alcohol is fun and that we just can't be fun without it, right? And it's just, it's yeah. all there. Yeah, and you still have fun. I mean, sure, you might go home a little earlier. <laughs> but <laughs> you, the, you still enjoy being around people and socializing is still a lot of fun for me. So it's good to, it's good to experience that enough times. And I think that over the length of the program, you get enough opportunities to to see that and growing confidence around the fact that you still have a good time. Yeah. And that's a big fear for a lot of people before they take an alcohol free challenge, that they're just, they're going to miss out on all the opportunities. No one's going to invite them out anymore. And they're just going to be left in their house reading a book on Friday and Saturday nights where it just isn't the case. No, that's right. This is still, you can, not, you can still do everything. So yeah, it's, it's great to find that out. I think that's one of the big takeaways. Super. So Craig, how have you found the community and the one-on-one -on -one coaching throughout the program? How's that supported you on your alcohol free journey? Uh, yeah, I think that connectivity with everyone that that's doing it is, is really encouraging because you can see there's a growing movement of people that are experiencing it. Um, even, people, members of my family that I didn't really take notice of the, the fact that they're doing it. So it sort of builds that feeling that there are a large group of people um, in the same boat. Um, and I think the program as a whole, you know, like it's a, it's a modern learning environment. It's got all the tools, it's got all the structure to it. And it feels, um, it feels good to, to sort of have all that material to go through. I think the one-on-one -on -one coaching is, is huge because it gives you the opportunity to be accountable and um you know coming back sort of every week to talk about things and being supported through it with with someone that um understands why you're there and is impartial and um is just going to support you um, and talk things through which is yeah that's that's a huge thing to um to get through it successfully super and craig last question for you if there was somebody watching this who's considering taking the alcohol free program what would you say to them I, I would say um, the thing that I enjoyed was just following the curiosity to see how great life could be. You know, like you don't have to have a problem with alcohol to get a lot of benefit out of this. Um, and it's surprising that um, it, it shows you how little, if you can have a little bit of alcohol, it still can have a major effect on your life. So um, I would say, yeah, just go for it, try it. Um, let time sort of show you what can happen um, in your life and you know it, it will change you for the better amazing i love that the curiosity right and the experiment of one try it you can always go back to drinking afterwards 
there's never a yeah. decision. Yeah, I like that about it. It wasn't a pressure of, you know, never drink again. It was moving towards, you know, what could be better for you in the long run. So, you know, I still have that all in front of me. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today, Craig, and sharing your experience. Thanks, Emma.